outfitting the American fighting force with the world's best technology. We went to an exposition of the most advanced weapons and military equipment on Earth. Here's what we found. Adam Housley has a look live from Los Angeles. Adam? Yeah, John, some amazing stuff. Gyro cams on top of people movers, for example, uh, robots that detect IEDs, something as small as sunglasses to protect the eyes of our men and women in uniform. But one of the most interesting, interesting things we saw was a solar-powered tent. Take a look. For the military, it's all about viability, also rapid response. This is a tactical shelter system, as it's called. It's a 10 by 14 tent. You can see it's actually powered on the outside by solar. This is canvas that's connected to the solar, very durable. You can see people have walked on it. Uh, this can obviously handle the elements. You come from the outside, you can go inside and see how this power actually transitions inside ships with this. They're running three computers, they're running several lights. Other stuff could be actually plugged in, all being powered from the outside of this tent that went up in less than three minutes. The solar attaches to it. Chip, how important is this for our men and women in the military? Well, it's really important. Um, it helps save fuel. Uh, by using the solar, we're taking care of the small electronics, uh, comm gear and such to charge that back up and uh, lights and such, so they'll save fuel that way. And the tent obviously is lined all the way around. Mm -hmm. uh, you, when, you, when you're talking about getting power into a tent and doing it this quickly and this affordability, what what is this event like being able to come here with your company and show this stuff off? Well, it's really important because we're getting right to the soldiers and they can see what's out there for availability for them when they're in the field. So it's really important for us to be doing a show like this. And when you talk to members of the military who've come back recently from deployment, they tell you that it's absolutely imperative. In fact, we talked with the colonel in charge of Camp Pendleton, and he says everybody wins.